everybody. As you can see, I'm not in my studio once again. And the reason is, as you know, I'm a giant Star Wars fan and we have Star Wars Rebels season four coming to us. And I wanted to go through each season individually and starting out with season one, since a good portion of it, or at least the beginning takes place on Lothal, I wanted to shoot in a place that looks semi like Lothal. Although now that I look at it, this place doesn't look like Lothal at all. But either way, let's start talking about Star Wars Rebels Season 1. So Star Wars Rebels Season 1 starts out by putting us in the eyes of Ezra Bridger as he's going along on the planet of Lafal, which is his home world, as it's being taken over by the Empire and they have to deal with the Empire's reign. Only thing is, Ezra doesn't agree with anything that the Empire is doing, so he does everything that he can to start sabotaging their supply runs, start sabotaging their evil doings so he can help the people of Lafal. When this group of Rebels, led by this rogue Jedi named Kanan, finds him and they're like hey you're cool you seem like the rebellion type let's recruit you and then they all go on their adventures okay i know i usually start with positives when it comes to movie reviews or tv shows or what have you but honestly star wars rebels season one for me was a little shaky and it's because most of the episodes they're filler after Kanan and his group of rebels pick up Ezra, they go on their little missions, but it doesn't necessarily get back to the main story arc till probably a quarter to halfway into the season. And that wouldn't necessarily be an issue if the main story arc wasn't really, really intriguing. For one thing, we get introduced to these characters that are known as Inquisitors. And Inquisitors are bounty hunters who work for the Empire and who have been trained in the dark side of the Force. And honestly, every single episode that dealt with the Inquisitors, I was intrigued by and it grabbed me. Because it wasn't just about the Inquisitors, but it also deepened the character development of Kanan, Ezra, and everybody else in the crew. And as always, when it comes to the main story arc, not just with Star Wars Rebels, but with Clone Wars or with the Star Wars movies, save for the prequels, the storytelling at Lucasfilm is really, really top notch. And in these particular episodes, it is the best this show could possibly be. And while I admit I have a problem with the filler episode-esque nature of the first season, the animation, the lightsaber fights, the battles, are really, really fun and enjoyable to watch. And on that note, I need to admit that although I think it's fun, I miss the more adult-like tone, the darkness, the grittiness, that Clone Wars brought to us. And I know inevitably a couple of you are going to say, yeah, but Cody, this is a show made on Disney XD. There's no way they're gonna go as adult or as dark as you'd like them to. So we need to talk once again about Star Wars, the Clone Wars, the animated series. That too is a show that was made on Disney and Disney XD. And all I need to say is one word, Death Watch. Death Watch was a group that wore Mandalorian armor, and if you don't know what that is, that's the armor that Boba Fett wore. And every episode to deal with this Death Watch group in the Clone Wars series, it dealt with suicide, it dealt with power to government, it dealt with a lot of themes that made it more adult, made it more surreal. Yeah, sorry about the shades guys, but the sun is kind of right above me and just glaring right into my face. But what I'm trying to say here is, although I don't believe Rebels needs to take the dark tones from the Death Watch episodes or from the Clone Wars in general, I just wish that when the creators made Star Wars Rebels, they would have made a couple of episodes to deal with politics, to deal with power, you know? Stuff that the Clone Wars was all about and what made it so great. But by no means do I think that the first season of Star Wars Rebels is garbage. I don't. It's a fun family adventure inside of the Star Wars universe. The characters inside this universe that are introduced, Ezra Bridger, Kanan, and everybody else on the crew, are well developed, well established, great characters that you really fall in love with by the end of the first season. And although I think season one is my least favorite season of Star Wars Rebels, this crew is what carried me through it. And if you haven't seen Star Wars Rebels, and once again, you're a giant Star Wars fan, I couldn't recommend this show any more strongly, because although season one is definitely a rough start for the show, each season gets better than the last one. It might be because I'm a giant Star Wars fan, or it might be I had so much fun watching this show, that I'll say season one of Star Wars Rebels is a casual watch. 
All right, you know the drill. As always, it is what you guys say that matters. So have you had a chance to see Star Wars Rebels Season 1? Have you seen any seasons of Star Wars Rebels? Leave a comment down below telling me your thoughts and what you think about the show. And if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right there and subscribe and become part of the fray of nerds who love cinema. You all have a fantastic day, and may the Force be with you.